Canva templates are super profitable digital products and a great source of passive income. When a customer purchases your Canva template, they're able to download it automatically and edit it for themselves. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create your own Canva templates step by step and how to sell them online for passive income. To get ideas on what templates you can create, go onto Etsy and type in Canva templates. Browse through what other creators are offering. Here are some quick ideas for you. You can create templates for business cards, wedding invitations, eBooks, thank you cards, blog posts, social media posts, emails, and so much more. There are two platforms I recommend selling these on, and I use both to sell my own digital products, and that's Etsy and Koji. If you don't already have an Etsy shop, you can use my link down below to open your shop up today with 40 free listings. Now Koji is a free link and bio platform for selling digital products. So you don't need a website or an e-commerce platform. You can use my link below to sign up for your Koji account for free today. I'll touch on both of these options later in this video. So give this video a like if you're excited and let's head over to Canva. In order to sell Canva templates, you do need the pro version. So I will leave my 30 day free trial link in the description box below. So I'm going to create a business card Canva template. I'm gonna to go to create a design at the top right here and go to custom size. Now a standard size for a business card is three and a half by two inches. So I'm gonna change it to inches, three and a half by two and create new design. Since I want to offer a front and back design for the customer, I'm gonna go right here to duplicate page and now I have two artboards to work with. The first thing I'm going to do is add some text. So I'm gonna to go to the left hand side here and go to text and add a heading. So first thing, I'm just going to add a name that they can edit. So I'm gonna go just a random name here. So Samantha Taylor and let's change the font. So I'm gonna go up here to this one and it's quite large. So I'm gonna to go to font size here and I'm gonna change that here. And let's bring it up at the top. Now, if I wanna position it in the middle, I can go to position center. If you have questions on how you can use the fonts and elements in Canva, I do break that down in this video here so you can head over there next. Now I'm just going to add a title for this person. So I'm gonna go add a subheading and let's do wedding photographer. Now, if I want to capitalize this font, I can just go up to the top right here to the three dots and let's go uppercase. I'm gonna add a line. So I'm gonna go to elements right here and under lines and shapes, I'm going to click on line. If I wanna change the weight of it, I can go right up to the top here and go to line weight of one. I'm going to extend it just like that. If I wanna change the color, I'm gonna go right up to the top here and let's change it to this one here. I'm just gonna bring that up just a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to add in contact information because that's usually what's on a business card. So I'm going to use the same font, but I'm actually going to space out the letters a little bit. So to do that, I'm gonna go to spacing and I can go to letter spacing and just kind of add a little more space between the letters, just like that. So I like that. So I'm gonna copy and paste this and I'm going to add in email. So your email at email.com. And I'm actually going to make this lower case. So let's go, go back over here and that looks good. So now I'm going to put in a space for phone number, social account and website. Okay, that looks good. So I'll tidy that up in a, in a little bit. So now I want to add elements um, for social media. So let's start with Instagram. So I just, I went to elements and I just typed in the search bar, Instagram. And I'm going to use this one here. So let's just make that a little bit smaller, bring it over here. And then I'm going to add TikTok and Pinterest. So let's use this one. And then same thing for Pinterest. Okay, now I just wanna change the color of these to the same color of the line. So I'm gonna select them and click color, and then just use the same color as the line. And I'm gonna do the same thing for all three. Okay, now if I want to have the same space between all these three elements, I can select all three, 
go to position at the top here and go to tidy up. It's one of my favorite features. It makes sure that everything is aligned perfectly. Now this one is just a little bit smaller. So I'm just going to make that a little larger and let's do that again. Okay. Now I want to space out all of this text, the same space. So I'm going to go to position and I'm going to go to vertically right here. Okay, so I just played around with the spacing. Now, if I wanna make sure that all of this is in the middle, I'm actually going to select all of these and group it so it becomes one element. So I'm gonna to go to group, and then I'm gonna to go to position center. Now everything looks aligned and more tidy. So moving on to the back, I'm going to make it very simple because I'm going for a more of a minimalist business card because when I did my research on Etsy, I saw that the minimalist business cards are doing really well. So I'm going to change the color of this one. So I'm gonna make the color of the back um, into this that matches the elements on the other side. Now I'm gonna copy and paste uh, just Taylor to this and I'm going to make this larger. So let's do two and I'm going to, I'm actually going to bold it. So I'm going to go here just to make it stand out even more. And I'm going to position it right in the center. Let's change that to white. So it stands out and I'm going to go to text and let's go. Can't type today. Okay, so I'm gonna change this one to a script font and I'm gonna go to this one here, the Starlight font. So I uploaded this font myself and you can do that under the pro version because I have a commercial license to this. So if you are uploading your own fonts, you can just go to upload font right here and you're able to upload it from your computer. So let's make this a little larger. I realized as we're editing this video that I spelled Samantha wrong. <laughs> And let's position it right in the center. Okay, so I like that look for the back, very simple. Um, now I'm going to share this as a template. So in order to do that, go up to the top right here and you're gonna go to template link, okay? And then this is the link that you're going to share with your customers, okay? So you're gonna wanna copy this link. Now we need to deliver this link somehow. So in order to do that, we're going to put it into a PDF file. Before I do that, I want to download the two sides of my business card as JPEG files, and you'll see in a second why. So go up to the top right again to share, download, and then change this to JPEG. And then make sure that both pages are selected right here, and then just click on download. Once you've downloaded the JPEG files, go to uploads, and then go to upload media, and then just upload the sides or your template images. So you can see the front and back JPEG files are already in my uploads. So now I'm gonna create my PDF file that gets delivered to the customer. Let's go back to the homepage of Canva and I'm gonna go back to create a design, custom size. And it doesn't matter what size this is because it's a digital file anyways that's going to be delivered. So let's go eight by 10 create new design. Now I'm just going to stylize this how I want. So I'm gonna go to color and let's just change it to the color of the business card. Let's go to text, add a heading and let's go business card. I'm gonna change it to the script font that I used in the business card. Let's bring it up to the top here. Okay, so I'm going to drag in the front of my business card. So I'm gonna do this, and then I'm actually going to use Smart Mockups, which is one of my favorite features in Canva. So if you don't know about it, you're welcome. I'm gonna to go to Edit Image, so I've already selected the card, and I'm gonna scroll down to Smart Mockups. So I'm gonna to go to See All, and I'm gonna find one that looks like a business card. So scroll down here. You can go through these, they've got amazing mockups. I'm just going fast to find the business cards. Okay, so I like this one. I'm gonna select this. And there is my mock-up. So I'm gonna apply that and I'm just gonna make that larger, put that in the center. Okay, so now I'm just gonna add text and I'm just gonna write in, thank you for your order. Click the link below to edit your template. Okay, so I'm just going to put in edit template 
change this so that it stands out a little bit and underline. Okay, so this is what's important. I want to paste that link that I copied from the template. So I'm going to highlight this text and I'm gonna to go to link, paste it in. Okay, and then enter. Now this is hyperlinked. So when I save this as a PDF and the customer receives it, when they click on this, it will take them to my link. So I'll show you what that looks like later on in the video. All right, that looks good. So I'm gonna to go to share, download as a PDF. So I'm gonna to go to PDF standard and I'm going to download. So that's what I'm going to now upload into my Etsy listing and my Koji listing. So before I do that, I want to create a mock-up of this card because your mock-up images that are seen in your shop are so incredibly important to getting that click from the shopper and to purchase. Okay, so I'm going to create a design, go to custom size, and this time I'm just gonna do a six by five. So let's bring in our uploads. So the front and back of this business card. Now I'm just gonna add a background first actually. So I'm gonna go back to elements and I'm gonna type in gray concrete floor. Okay, I like this one. I'm going to just make that larger and let's send it to the back. Okay, so I've got my background. Now I'm going to once again, use my best friend, which is the smart mockups feature. Go to edit images. Let's go to smart mockups and let's look for one that we really like here. Okay, I really like this one. Let's see what this looks like. Oof, that's beautiful. Okay, let's do the same thing for this one. Come on, how nice is that? And look how easy that was. Okay, so I love that. Send this one to the back. Now I'm just going to put a title. So let's go to text and let's add in business card template, change the font to this. And then I'm going to just add in one more little touch. Let's go to elements and I'm gonna find a little ribbon like this one. So I'm gonna use the color of Canva so that the customer knows that this is going to be edited in Canva. Use that color there, it's close enough. Let's make this a little bit smaller so I can fit that in. And of course you can line this up however you want. And let's go to elements again, type in Canva. I like that, so let's make that smaller here. And I just basically want them to know that they're going to edit this in Canva. Okay, that's great. So of course I've only created one mock-up. Feel free to create multiple because usually it's nice to have at least three or four images. But for now, I'm just gonna use this one. So I'm going to save this as a JPEG file so I can put it as an image on my listings. Let's go JPEG and let's download. Now you can upload your mock-up images and your PDF with the template link onto Etsy and Koji. You're already putting in all the work to create it. You might as well offer it on multiple platforms. Like I mentioned, Koji is a free link and bio platform for selling digital products. I'll leave my link in the description box below so you can sign up for free today. Once you've created your account, go into view app store and you're going to want to find top apps for monetization. And this is what we're looking for, digital files storefront. So when you go into here, you can actually see that you're able to sell guides, printables, Canva templates, social media prompts, eBooks. There's so many here. And I actually give you a full step-by-step -step tutorial on how to create your printables or templates digital storefront in this video here. So I will link that down below for you to watch next. So what you would do here is just click on add to be able to add this into your link in bio. So if you have Instagram, for example, you're going to add the link to your Koji profile and your customers will be able to visit your shop. So you're gonna upload a banner image, and then the title of your store, and then a description of your store. Then you're gonna go into layout, and then choose the grid layout that you want. So in the tutorial that I mentioned, I specifically use this one, and I do have a printable shop that I'm currently working on that you can also check out in that video. Once you have your Koji account ready, be sure to share the link down below so we can check out your profile and check out the digital products you're selling. Now to offer this on Etsy, go into listings and then click on add a listing. So if you have a shop, you'll know how to add listings. You're going to add images here. Now, 
the one thing I forgot to mention is you can see that the mock-up image that I've uploaded is already here. I've just added a photo, but make sure that your image is at least 2000 pixels wide because otherwise Etsy will yell at you and tell you that your photo is low quality, which is what happened to me. So I had to recreate it at 2000 pixels wide minimum. So be sure to do that when you upload your image. Once you've done that, you can scroll down and fill out the way you would a listing. If you need help on how to create a listing from scratch, I have these videos that you can head over to and watch. I'll link those below for you as well. You will have to select digital here in order to offer a digital download and then scroll to the bottom right over here. And this is where you're going to upload that PDF document. And once a customer purchases your listing, this PDF document gets sent to them automatically. So you don't have to do anything. They're going to access this PDF and then access your link. So let me show you what that's going to look like on their end. So the customer will receive the PDF just like this, and they'll be able to click on edit template. And then this is going to pop up for them and they're going to click on use template. And now they have access to both the front and back of my business card that they're now able to go in and just start editing. And that's how you sell Canva templates. Let me know if you have any questions below. Don't forget to sign up for your free Koji account using the link in the description box below so you can start uploading your digital products, including your Canva templates. Remember to share your Koji link with us in the comments so we can check out your profile and see what you're selling. Thank you so much Koji for sponsoring this section of the video. Make sure to head over to this video next where I show you step-by-step -step how to set up your digital files storefront in Koji. So I'll see you there.